Hey guys, Mike here from Ball and Bowers, and I just want to do a quick video for you guys. And um, right now, I'm just gonna. I was just cleaning my um, my male cal albino's enclosure, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at him, and also um, show you guys the uh, new vlogging camera that I just uh, picked up. Well, my wife picked up for me, and because uh, I'm thinking about starting maybe a weekly vlog, I don't think I have enough material or content to do a daily vlog I mean I guess I could try maybe just do updates and stuff but I think to start off I'm gonna be doing a um, a daily I mean sorry not daily a weekly vlog and um, so here's the camera right here and it's nothing you know spectacular or nothing you know too expensive it's a good camera it's a Canon um, it's a decent one it'll definitely serve the purpose as you see um, I got one of those tripods uh, kind of like everybody's using it's kind of like this one and the other one that's kind of got like the balls on it, you know. But um, yeah, guys, so it's a decent camera. I'll turn it on for you guys so you can get a good look at it. But um, I'm definitely happy with it. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll be doing some, you know, a lot better, a lot better uh, videos for you guys. And, you know, a lot better content with this here. Now that I have something I can uh, kind of get out there and basically do some really cool videos with because right now I'm just kind of using my phone even though the phone works pretty good um, I do have an iPhone but um, you know this right here is just gonna do wonders and basically um, you know Brian kind of uh, Brian from uh, BHB reptiles kind of uh, you know inspired me when I was out there me and TJ to uh, help him with the zoo install a few weeks back just seeing the way that he vlogs and how he does his whole thing and you know just how cool it was kind of really inspired me to kind of like upgrade a little bit obviously nothing like he's got he's got some really really awesome cool cameras some really expensive cool stuff so uh but this will definitely serve the purpose um definitely get the job done for what i needed to do so i'm very happy with it so thank you babe i really appreciate it um so i'm really really excited about it and um yeah, guys, I can't wait to do some videos with it. But I don't think I can go live with it, so I think I can just basically do videos and upload it. But um, so now I got to learn how to do some editing. Probably have most, probably have my wife do most of the editing for now, until I learn how. But yeah, guys, so I'm very, very excited. So soon, hopefully, I'll be coming at you guys with a weekly vlog. Don't know what's gonna really contain or be about yet, but hopefully, we'll have some cool stuff in there. But again, here is one of my favorite in the collection. I do not show him off much. But man, look at him. This guy is just gorgeous. And he is a daddy this year. He, um, he is the father of uh, Empress's litter. And yeah, guys, I mean, just look at him. And he's actually getting pretty big now, guys. As you see, if I hold him up right there, he's getting pretty big. He's getting some weight on him. And I have a picture back here to show you when he was really small. And there he was when I first got him right there. Look at him. I was holding him in one hand. He was tiny right there. So here he is now. And he's probably a little probably a little over four foot when he's fully, fully stretched out. Uh, maybe four foot one, four foot two or three inches. But uh yeah, guys. So his first time breeding was um, was la was this past season. He did a great job. He was a real aggressive breeder. Uh, he did actually. He served two litters, but one of the litters was um, a complete slug out. I got uh, 13 slugs and one stillborn from my possible super hypo, and uh, so he he was the only um, male to breed with her. So he served that litter. That litter didn't do good. Um, and then he went in with Empress for the rest of the season. Empress did amazing. She had 18 live babies. They are beautiful. Um, I think we still have about 10 or 11 of them left for sale, guys. So if anyone wants to uh, contact me and just, you know, talk about the babies, what they look like, and some pricing, uh, feel free to do that, guys. Look at the muscle tone on this guy. I mean, just look at that. I mean, I could feel that muscle and that ripple right there. I mean, just look now. That's what you want to look for in your um, in your snakes, and I say in your males. 
I mean, just look at that muscle tone down him, guys. Just look at that. It's looking like the snake is working out or something. I mean, just beautiful muscle and really, really, really beautiful snake, guys. I mean, he is just a true, true, beautiful albino. And I know some albinos kind of fade out and they might lose some color as they get older, guys. But not this guy right here. This guy has stayed truly, truly stunning, guys. I mean, just take a look at him just absolutely amazing and i cannot wait to do a video with him with this new camera that he's actually climbing on right now but man i can just picture what he'd look like if i was using that probably even better but as you see guys yeah the only thing that's kind of dulled out on him a little bit obviously his saddles have dulled out and um his the oranges on his tail have dulled out just a little bit not a whole lot but just a little bit but as you see, guys, I mean, he is just a true beauty. And uh, he will be um, going again this season. He'll probably be pairing up with his first female. I'd probably say um, maybe around Halloween, maybe a week or two after. So I'd say late October, early November, he'll start his breeding for the year. So, um, well, I just wanted to give you guys a look at him. Oh, guys, sorry, buddy. That's just the camera. Um, just want to give you guys a look at him and I uh, give you guys a look at the new camera So I'm very excited about it and I uh, can't wait to use it But um, I'm gonna put this guy away and uh, do a little bit more cleaning But this is Mike from Ball and Boas saying until the next time peace